okay today we are going to learn about complex numbers and I'm sure that you heard about real numbers so we are going to make a few addition to that real number and make it really complex okay not that complex okay and all these things started in the 17th century when one mathematician called root root under minus one to be i uh, actually that's not i it's a greek alphabet iota but there is no problem in calling it i okay so you can go for i so what he did is he just called root under minus one to be i and once he did that the square root for all the negative numbers started to exist for example if i take root under minus 25 I'm sure you don't have any objection if I write root minus 25 as root minus 1 into 25. And root under a into b is root a times root b. And what is this root minus 1? Yeah, we called it i. And root 25, of course, yeah, it's 5. So we end up with 5 times i. So like I said before, the negative numbers started to have square root. Okay, I'll give you one more example. Suppose we have root under minus 9. Okay, we can. If you use the same logic, we can write this as 3 times i. And if you have something like root under minus 3, then we can put this as, or we can write this as root 3 times i. Okay, so my point is, the negative numbers started to have square root. Okay. So we have a situation here and I'll explain that by using a, an example. It may sound silly for some of you, but it works. Okay, what is the sum if I add three apples with two apples? Yeah, you're going to add them and you can add and you get five apples. And what will happen if you add three orange with five oranges? Okay, the sum will be 8 oranges, of course. But now we have a situation like 3 apples with 2 oranges. Okay, and now you are helpless. We are helpless because we are not able to add them. And we cannot add them. And the same situation happened in mathematics. Because now we have real numbers and now we have imaginary numbers. So we have a situation where we cannot combine them. For example, we have a real number and we have a complex, I'm sorry, an imaginary number. And we cannot do anything with the sum. So that created a new number and we call it the complex number. Okay, I'll give you one more example. This is a real number and this is an imaginary number. So, we have a situation where we cannot add these numbers together. And that created the complex number. Okay, and when we speak generally, complex numbers are denoted by x plus i y. So we have a real number over here and we have an imaginary number over here. So together they create the complex number. And normally in the mathematics books we use the letters Z, W, etc. to represent complex numbers. So together this is a complex number and this X is called the real part of the complex number and Y is called the imaginary part of the complex numbers.